Hi everyone, welcome back. Just at the main menu for Siege right now, where we have the new Mute Protocol event, which has just dropped. So I think we're going to go look through the entire collection of the packs and maybe play a few games. I should get a free pack as well, because they typically do do that when new events release. I think first and foremost, before we look at the collection, I am going to open my free pack. Let's see what I get. I am in a purple. Well, this animation is actually really cool. That's a really cool animation. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I know a lot of people might be disappointed by a pack like this. I'm a sucker for player cards, so look, I I'll take that. I'm not disappointed by that, but I know a lot of people probably would be disappointed by that. I cannot lie. So taking a look at the contents of the pack, there are 75 items in this. This has got to be the biggest pack collection out of any event ever. And there is two universal weapon skins. This one at the top was available the first time around when the event was out. And now this is the new one, which is available now, which wasn't originally here when the event first came out. And I know my face cam is kind of blocking it, but this is called Elegant Fusion. So moving over to the uniforms, there are some new ones and a lot of them are returning as well. So we have Mir Mira, Jaeger, Blitz, Oryx, Nook, Ayana, I like the Ayana one, that's pretty cool, Capcan, Ying, Jackal, Mute, Mozzie, okay that Mozzie one looks really nice, I like that one a lot, it goes really well with that headgear I've got on him, Vigil of course, Lion, Tachanka, which is a new one around this time as well, Cav, IQ, and finally Azami. And if I do remember correctly, the new ones, so they weren't here originally when this event first came out, is Jaeger, Blitz, Ayana, Nook, uh, Mozzie, Cav, Tachanka, Azami, and IQ. So there is actually quite a lot of new ones. I actually, I think there's actually more new ones than there are old ones. Headgears as well, these seem to all be legendary. So you've got the one for Oryx, Vigil, Capcan, Ayana, that one is pretty cool. Azami, <laughs> that's really cool, that one. Uh, this is Tachanka. Oh my god, I need that headgear. That is an amazing headgear. Blitz as well. That is another great headgear. These headgears are incredible. Mira, IQ, Nook. Like that one a lot as well. Kind of reminds me of something out of Dune. Jackal, of course. Uh, this one's Jaeger. That's a really nice one as well. Lion, Caviera. That's quite a funny looking one. Mozzie. That was quite cool. Of course, Mute, who is the poster boy of this event, and Ying. Weapon skins as well. They seem to actually be 3D weapon skins. This seems to be a 3D weapon skins for Tachanka's DP27. Oh my god, these packs are quite good. I was very critical of this event because it isn't the same as Mute Protocol. It's kind of just gun game, but oh my god, this weapon skin is sick. These packs have been pretty great so far. Here is one for Blitz's shield. That is also really cool. They really did not hold back with these weapon skins. You know, I criticized how pretty bad, you know, skins and customizations have been in this game for a while but a lot of these are pretty good i will not lie so you've got one for capcan and azami's gun uh the commando uh caviar's smg mute shotgun uh the same weapon as before i guess one is for capcan one is for azami k1a by the looks of it the smg which nook has jackal c7e the vector for lion the vector for mira and goyo of course the mp5 as well the shotgun which ying has iq's commando the arx for ayana and of course jaeger's commando as well there is a universal attachment skin as well, which is pretty nice. I won't lie. I like that one quite a bit. We've also got two charms. This was the charm that was available the first time around, and this is a brand new charm as well. Next is all the player cards. I'm just going to go through these quite quickly, but these are all extremely cool. These all look a lot high quality than they usually are. So, you know, hats off to them for that. They are kind of stepping up their game in this, but these are really great player cards. I do want most of these. I think my favorite one out of all of these is probably Tachanka's, or Ayana's one is pretty cool as well. And then finally, there's two player card backgrounds backgrounds for this as well one from the original mute protocol which is this one on screen and then the flesh and metal background which is from the re-release of mute protocol and of course guys as always these can also be separately bought as bundles as well for our six credits so you can get all these different bundles here and you can also get ones with the weapon skins i believe this one comes with the background as well yes this does come with the original mute protocol background and i'm not seeing a bundle for the new weapon skin there should be one but i'm not seeing it maybe they've made that limited to packs but um yeah that's actually quite interesting so maybe the new weapon skin is limited to packs as well as the background and stuff like that so be, be aware of that maybe i've just not been able to find it but yeah be aware of that i can afford a pack i can afford a few packs i think i just have to buy them individually so let's open some packs and see what we get get another purple okay we get another player card again people would be disappointed in that i am not though i love player cards in this game so i will take that we might get another player card it is the same rarity for it Okay, we got the weapon skin for the K1A. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not bad at all. So yeah, guys, the new game mode is here for the next 21 days. Be sure to play it. I am definitely going to start getting some clips and playing it for a new video. Anyway, guys, have an incredible rest of your day. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll catch you all later. Peace.